YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a classic cut and style. All right, I like to begin each cut by combing or brushing out my client's hair. Shout out to Still Two Comb for this dope comb you see me using. And I like to comb out the hair so I could get it to lay in its natural direction. That way I could get a clear view of what needs to take place. Now that I got the hair combed out, I'm gonna take my Andes Cordless T Outliner and I'm gonna begin to set my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guideline. And the title to this haircut tutorial is Classic Cut. But clearly you can see what I'm doing right here is I'm coming in with a low fade approach. This might not be the typical guideline you see somebody set, but I have a vision for this cut that I want to give my client and he kind of gave me free realm. He was ready to a point where he was ready to chop the top off and I'm like, no, 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 no. Let me show you what you got. So the guy that I'm setting right here, I don't necessarily know if it's a guy that you would typically set, but the way that I set it, that's how you would set it, whichever way you did decide to set it. So now that my bald guideline is set, I'm now going to take my Babyliss Pro Foil FX2 and I'm going to completely bald them out. And when I get towards the top of that guideline, I am using that like flick out motion because I'm trying to demonstrate a smooth transition from completely bald to stubble because that's going to pop later when my blend comes out. So now that I got them balled out, I'm going to take my wall magic clip with the original fade blade and I'm going to begin to set my next guideline giving myself the same amount of space that I just gave myself with the previous guide. That way I keep everything really consistent. So now that my guide set, I'm now going to close my lever and I'm going to begin to blend from the bottom of that guide back up towards the top of it. And each time that I go up little by little, I'm going to open my blade just like you saw me just do. And every time I open my blade, that guide's going to move up with me as I go. And that's okay because that's exactly what I'm looking for. By the time I open the lever about the third, definitely by the fourth time, that guide will be completely blended out. Now that that's blended out, I'm going to take my wall cordless senior with the taper blade and I'm going to take the wall number one color guard with my lever open and I'm going to begin to set my next guideline and again I'm going to give myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the two previous guides. Just like the previous step, now that my guide set, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of that guide back up towards the top of it. But this time, I'm not going to open my lever at all. I'm going to keep my lever closed, I'm going to keep my blade flat on the head, and I'm going to work from the bottom of that guide all the way to the top where I just left off with the blade fully open. Typically the one leaves weight behind, that's why I'm coming through with my wall half color guard and I'm attacking that weight that was left behind. So I'm going to come in with my lever open and I'm going to go right above where I see the weight. And I'm going to use the fade process, but this time I'm going to fade downwards, closing my lever as needed until that guide's completely blended out.
once I see that that guide's blended out, now you're gonna see me use a lot of the corner of my blade and a lot of lever play. What I mean by lever play is I'm gonna be moving up and down that lever and I'm just paying close attention to detail right now. So I'm doing a little detail work and that's where the corner of the blade comes in and, and it's very useful to do because you're you're primarily focusing on a little area so by using the corner of the blade you're not as committed as you were if you were using the whole blade so now you just saw me wet the hair and now i'm taking my still tooth comb and i'm prepping it i'm laying everything down so i could come through and do clipper over comb so right here i'm going to come in with my clipper with my lever open my still tooth comb and I'm just gonna work at removing some of that weight and connecting my blend into the top of the hair. So now that I removed most of the weight, I'm now gonna do some detail work and I'm gonna clean up anything that was left behind from my clipper over comb work. So I'm gonna come in with my wall one and a half premium guard with the lever open and I'm gonna begin to attack any dark spots that I may see. And I'm gonna come in with the lever open, but I'm gonna fade, but I'm gonna fade downwards again. So I'm gonna close my lever as needed to continue to work that out. And you're gonna see me use all the guards that you just saw me use, working my way up to here, doing that fade down process, just focusing on detail work. All right, y'all, one time, can we smash that like button one time? Shout out to my boy Tito Beats for this dope fire that always sets the dopest tone to my haircut tutorials, bro. I appreciate you. Y'all make sure to go give him a like, subscribe to him. Let his music and his beats motivate you, man. They motivate me. Sometimes I just, I, I hit play. I go to his channel and I hit play off. And I just, I do me, you know? And it just, it sets a really dope tone. So I just wanna say I appreciate you, my boy. Right here, you just saw me apply some product. I did style them and I'm, I know a lot of you are not gonna like this. I didn't film me styling him out. And the reason why is this, is, this right here was an exclusive VIP cut. So me and my client were doing some things that we didn't necessarily want to do on camera. So we were just kind of enjoying the moment and you know, sometimes it is what it is so I didn't get to capture it. But here is a look at the final cut y'all. Tell me this isn't fire. If you got anything useful out this, smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you subscribe, stick around. It's only gonna get doper from here. I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out.